Hi, so today I wanted to briefly talk about my story and how I almost moved to Japan. I could be on a flight over there right now, but I didn't. So here I am filming a YouTube video in my room. Ah, buckle up. <laughs> I wanted to share my feelings as the Japanese border is slowly opening up to workers and students and maybe like grieve a little bit of what I did give up on. Maybe there's other people out there who feel the same way that I do right now. Let's get into it. So in September of 2021, I was supposed to start my first semester at a Japanese university. Except I gave that all up in the span of a week. I dropped out, returned my certificate of eligibility, and essentially moved on with my life. Because on the surface, it seemed like everything was going well, everything was falling into place. Underneath, I think I was really struggling internally with a lot of doubt, uncertainty, and I didn't know if this was the right decision anymore. Even before I applied to college, I didn't really know what I wanted to do with my life. I think I was so laser focused on my goal of moving to Japan that I kind of neglected everything else. I didn't have any career goals. I didn't feel like I had any skills. I was even questioning if I wanted to get a college education in the first place. And on top of that, I had been doing online school for a year and being just stuck at home in general, I'm sure many other people can relate to this, but I just felt like I wasn't in the right headspace to be thinking about this kind of decision. All I was thinking was, this sucks, I need to get out. The only way to get out is Japan. And that was kind of like my whole reasoning of going there. I was sort of chasing in an ideal. Hi, it's editing me. I just wanted to clarify a couple of things. First off, I wanted to move to Japan because I was always interested in the culture and I had visited a couple times, had a lot of great memories from there. But I think the whole reason behind me moving there for university was sort of using it as an escape from my current life instead of the reality. And when that reality hit me, I quickly realized I was sort of not making this decision from the right place and I needed to think about it a bit more. I wasn't ready for another commitment of four years right after 12 years of school. I just needed a break. I needed time to figure myself out and reflect on my values and what I wanted my life to look like. So I dropped out and gave up on the dream of moving to Japan that I had had for so long. Now don't get me wrong, it was not an easy decision. In a way, I still hold on to a small part of that goal of wanting to live and work in Japan. But I think I've made peace with it because I'm in a good place right now. I'm starting a new job. It was really fun. I've been doing and dabbling in some weird hobbies, YouTube, knitting and stuff. <laughs> and just taking this time to myself, like really to myself and you know, eliminate all of the expectations and sitting with myself. I think that has been so, so important to me. I will always have those great memories of Japan and I'll treasure them forever, but I also want to treasure the moment right now and the life that I have right now. Maybe Japan and I will meet some other time or maybe not. But in the meantime, I am going to live the best life that I can right here. Whatever happens will happen when it's supposed to happen. I think I'm sharing my story both as a way for me to process my thoughts but also to maybe reach out to those people who are in the same boat as me. I know a lot of people talk about why they moved there and how they don't regret that decision at all. I don't see a lot of people talking about how they didn't move there and what that was like for them. Because for me personally, it was kind of lonely the first few months afterwards. I didn't have anyone to talk to. Really, I kind of bottle all those feelings up for myself. If you are in the same boat as me and you are questioning whatever life decision you have made, I just want you to know that your life isn't over and you aren't bound by the decision that you make. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you got something out of it. I don't know what my channel is going to look like going forward or if I'm going to film any more videos at all, but I'm enjoying it so far and I have a lot of free time, so... Please subscribe. <laughs>